Ja. Ska jag sätta mig här bara eller? Ja. Jag sätter mig bredvid och sätter Crazy day number two is on. Now since this is crazy day number two, I have to go home and let the dog out. Because this is a special day. I still have to work. It is the afternoon, it's like three o'clock, but I'm alone with the kids. So it's a mixture of have to work and have to take care of the dog. Pretty much it's, it uh, all goes around work, but also tunnel. Damn, there goes the white balance. Your son is with me. Okay, so we're out of the tunnel. Fine, here comes the sunlight. Awesome! My wife has some meeting at work that finishes late in the evening. So it's just me and the kids and uh, I'll have to figure out what to do. I really would have no idea how I would have done this if I did not have a job that was flexible. Where I can like go home and keep working whenever I need to instead of being stuck at work like 9 to 5. Working 9 to 5. Oops, I hope the wife doesn't see that. I'm not destroying your interior. Oh. That was a really rough day, but it's finally over. And now I gotta pick up the kids. What should I do with them? I have no idea. Will I have the guts to let them decide again? They will probably go to the bathhouse. We can't let that happen. Not when, I, when I'm alone. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I look like a hairy mongrel with all this beard going on, it's because my barber, Fadde, from Fadde's Barber, his barber shop right here. No, don't watch that. He actually moved. He decided to set up shop somewhere else. Right now he's in construction, so I have nowhere to get a haircut and I'm not a man enough to do the beard myself. He's been handling this for like the last six, seven years. I can't just start doing it myself all of a sudden. So Fade, get your shit together and open your barber shop, because I look like shit. Yalla yalla, hella hella. Mabukra <laughs> yom. That pretty much means yalla yalla, everybody knows, hurry hurry. And uh, ma bukra means like not tomorrow, and the uh, yom means today. So get it done today, man. Let's get the kids. Your name is Charles Hunt. It's me, Charles Hunt. It's me, Charles Hunt. Just got a text from the barber. He says he's working Saturday. That's gonna be a problem. Because we're going to my parents' house this weekend to do some illegal drone flight. Anyway, I won't be here, so 
the beard will have to wait until like Monday, Tuesday. I'm considering doing it myself, but I know it's a bad idea. Let's get the kids. Okay, so what would you like to do today? Vad vill ni göra idag? Mamma jobbar sent och vi är själva utan mamma, så vad vill ni göra då? Okej, det var du. No, we can't go to the swimming pool. I need to have mommy with me. Jag måste ha mamma med. Men vi måste äta mat. Vi ska åka och äta på McDonald's och så kan ni leka lekrum. Ja, men vi får se. Men vi får se om det inte stämmer. Nej. Då får vi äta hemma då. Nej. Jag låg att det är roligt. That's what I call a mission failed. Okay, so after 10 minutes of negotiations, we have finally reached a verdict. We're going to a McDonald's where they have a, a basketball hoop. So you can shoot the basketball there while we're waiting for the food. He is such a negotiator. He got it to that he was not going to go to daycare tomorrow, which is Friday. But that was never part of the deal. And he was negotiating about going to grandma and granddad and whatever. Du, nu är du tyst. Nu är du tyst. Jag åker när jag är klar. Anyway, let's get to the McDonald's. Pappa. Okay, so we're here. Hello. Now what? As a single parent, I know I have experience from this. It's not gonna work out with two kids, one big camera and carrying food around. So we're switching to the iPhone. Let's go. Yeah. Strange things going on. A secret hamburger at McDonald's. I'll tell you more about it in the car. Alright, so let me go through this experience before we leave here. So we walk into McDonald's and this guy comes up to me. And he doesn't have like a McDonald's outfit. So I figured it could be just any guy. But it turns out they are like doing a, a survey for McDonald's. Where you can try out their new upcoming burger. This was a really special burger I got to try. It has like blue cheese and bacon. So it's kind of split the population in half. Half of the people love it, half of the people hate it. I like blue cheese, I like all kinds of cheese. So I thought it was one of the best burgers I ever ate on McDonald's. It was kind of chaotic because he was asking me a question. One kid ran that way, one kid the other way. I mean, I'm a man, I can only do like one or two things at a time. I hope that he does take that into consideration when he goes through what I answered. So I pretty much just said numbers. One to ten, how do you like the taste? Where is the kids? Seven. How do you like the meat? One to ten. Oh my god, they're fighting again. Four. And how do you like the onions? Oh my god, no, it's an evil child in there. What onions? And so on, you get the picture. But now we really gotta, we gotta go home. Thank you for the free food again, McDonald's. Free food at Volvo, free food at McDonald's. Everywhere I go, I get free food. And everywhere I go, I get fat. That's, it is what it is. Get out of here. Hasta la vista, baby.
Yeah, we're home, guys. Yeah, we're home. They say that I'm gonna miss this when they get bigger. How can anybody miss that? That is horse shit. Go, 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 go! <coughs> I like to beat you up. Ah, so I, no. I want to kill you, bitch. You can't speak English. I can't take it anymore. I have to end the video for today and start editing. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. That burger was a good one. But now I'm going to sleep on the couch. Go, Paley! Goodbye!